what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 133. 133. 133. One, of Tune and a Mic. Coming yeah. at you on a Tuesday night. Tuesday night mics. Spit Tuesday hot night fire. Uh, hot fire. I am Big Ron alongside White Pepper. Pepper, you get a fresh haircut, bro. Bro, the, the man, the, the bun's gone, bro. So you, you cut the machine gun Kelly man bun. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the face is over. I was like, huh, something looks different. I'm like, did he cut the hair? Like he... The, the phase is over, man. It's just, it was. Okay. It was, it was like, you know how, like, there's like midlife crisis. I think I had one of those. So you... And like, I was like, I need a ponytail. And then like, realized that, like, putting your hair up in a bun every day was like, mm-hmm. it's taxing. I don't want to do that shit. It's what, man hair. Man hair. So I went back to the old cut, and I feel much better now. So, uh, Pepper Mayfield right now. (laughs) (laughs) No. I don't want to be associated with that team, please. Thank you. (laughs) I am not a baker. (laughs) Damn, that's why I got a big, I mean, Baker Mayfield. (laughs) Is that like like the traditional white haircut now? (laughs) Yeah, you have the Pepper pepper Baker Mayfield right now. Well, Pepper Baker? What are you doing, dog? I can look. It's like it's confusing now. Like I got like a comb. You just get like a brush, and then you can do mm-hmm. this thing seventeen times, and you have this little band stuck to you at all times because you never know when you want to throw it up. <laughs> but like I looked like a homeless human if I didn't have my hair in a bun. Like I didn't have mm-hmm. cool long hair. Like I didn't look like Thor. Like that's what I thought was going to happen. I thought it was going to grow out. Oh, I'm like, wow. Yeah. That's a little four right there. <laughs> but this, <laughs> was he born with it? Maybe it's Maybelline. I didn't know. Uh, I felt like, uh, and instead uh, it was like, eh, it looked like straw, and it didn't like move in the wind or anything. So I was like, mm, okay, I got you. It, did, it didn't work. It didn't work. So we're back, back to our regular schedule programming. Um, Sixers are somehow hanging in. They have nobody. Still shocked by this. Um, so man, I guess we'll start with everybody's favorite. Don't you don't is what did we do on this fine weekend? Um, do you want to kick it off? Do you want me to go? Does it matter? What do we do this weekend? Probably not. I didn't like, uh, I didn't, I will, I'm not gonna blow anybody's mind. So, I uh, did anything. I mean, I guess I'll go first. So, this weekend, um, what do we do? So, we did a very early Friendsgiving mm. for uh, you know. So the fiance's friends had a very, very early Friendsgiving. So we did that. Yeah, like um, almost not even November. Yeah, it was, it was really early. I guess it worked out for them. I guess I've been a very busy schedule. You got to get it out of the way sometimes, like yeah. compared to what else you might have going on. So um, it makes sense. Yeah, so that was Saturday. And then Sunday was very disappointing for me as a, as a sports fan slash what the hell was that for the Cowboys? Uh, yeah, I didn't expect like uh, I didn't no. expect them to get taken off TV so bad. Yeah, they're like uh, Kurt Menefee comes up with, "Hey, uh, we're gonna switch this game to a more competitive game." I'm like, "Oh, well, that's it. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm done. I guess I'm done watching." <laughs> uh, Fuck me, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like okay. Uh, just a Cowboys fan who doesn't live in Dallas can't just randomly watch this game. So how, how dare you take hey, off America's TV, team? I guess like, what? Right. Well, so I was like, well, yeah, so. The, uh, that's a good question, actually, leading into it. What the fuck were they doing with the red stripe on their home? So that was for, like, the, the veterans, the like veterans' day. I've never I seen mean, that before, though. Did, like, do they do that every year, and I just don't see it? Last time I did it was, like, the Roger Stallback era. Like, that's oh, the last time I did it. So that was, like, years yeah. and years ago. Uh, so that around. was for the veterans, and then we got our asses kicked for that. For I mean, the veterans. It was, like, so the Undertaker shares up, and he's signing autographs. Yeah, you know, and then, and then we got... You know it's in trouble when... Like, yeah. What's the Undertaker's there? You're like, ah, okay. this isn't good so I'm, I'm gonna put that L on the Undertaker because you know when the dead man's around, he's like, oh, guess we're mm, like, uh, you know, that's he, how we that's how we played. Like, you guys <laughs> played like a dead man, so it makes sense. Yeah, I'm like, well, we made the Broncos look like we were like, you know, they were eight. No, that's what they look like. Yeah, I thought then, I thought Elway was at the helm when I when I right? like, oh, they're losing like this. I guess it's the Elway era. Like, what the hell was going on? Like, or is it Peyton? Is it Peyton in the crew out there? No. Oh, okay. Who I don't think quarterback? Teddy Two Gloves. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so somehow Teddy Gloves is out there just swanging it. 
Suddenly, Trayvon Diggs doesn't catch balls no more. Yeah, like what the hell? I mean, like, like he I'm just like, disappeared, dude. Like we went from Cooper Rush, and then we got oh, we get we get our our Dak back, and then it's we- just, right. It weirdly like, looked like you guys were like it. off because it wasn't Cooper Rush. Like who's really the start? Is it Cooper or is it Dak? Are we like, having what? that battle now? <laughs> we, have, we might have that battle on Big Day. Like who the hell's for that? It's the real battle of the Cooper Rush versus Dak Prescott. Right. Big time Bro. Rush versus big time Dak. See, Big Time Rush is a much cooler name, though. It really it's is. It's a band already. You know, so it really it's like, is. Yeah. Shit. Um, so, yeah. The Eagles lost. was not good. And then watching that game, I mean, what the hell was that? You guys look like you're, you you played better than we did. But that last drive was pretty much like, you know, you just you turn like the Eagles. So you're pretty much like. You knew sorry. it was over. Like, yeah. oh, they get the ball last, we're done. Yeah. Because our know. defense is like, we're not really going to worry about, you know, winning or losing here. We're just going to. Nah. Sit there and let Philip Rivers Jr. Tice us, uh, slice us up to death. <laughs> now, see, he has Thor hair. Okay. Yeah. He has the Thor hair I wanted. So. Just, Justin Sherbert. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Sherbert. <laughs> Not quite ice cream. I'm a little bit Sherbert here. I never understood Sherbert. Me either. I wasn't. I was. I don't think I've ever had like, it. What does it do? The only oh. thing I've ever heard that Sherbert even does is isn't like, isn't that the shit you put in your mouth to like. It's supposed to like clear your palate in between oh, like a meal. I'm, is that right? is that what it is? Is that is that what? Yeah, I feel like is? like I'm going to like a fancy restaurant. I was like, why did they put this thing of butter in the middle of me? And they're like, that's not butter. And I was like, oh, well, I'm fat. Sorry, <laughs> my apologies. That's not a stick of butter. Like, not Sherbert. I was like, I don't know who she is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Sherbert. Tell her she could take it back. Um, yeah, but I think like they put it there, and so it's supposed to like if you have like a four course meal or something. So like. Mm-hmm. Your chicken doesn't taste like your fucking salad, kind of thing. I don't know. Gotcha. But you ain't gonna catch me doing it. I'm just gonna toss it. It'll all go down the same yeah. old gullet. So, I'm all right. All right. My corn's gonna taste like my chicken. It's gonna taste like my ice cream. I don't. I don't really care. <laughs> okay. I go to Wendy's and I dip my chicken in my ice cream. Don't even worry about it. I'm not savage. Gonna... Spicy nugs with a chocolate frosty. Actually, a vanilla frosty is much better than a chocolate frosty for dipping. Tell me. Oh. Okay. Game changer. Write it down. Write Spicy it down for Thanksgiving. Vanilla frosty. Vanilla frosty. Bloop bloop. You're good to go. The you pepper dip 12. challenge. The, yeah. the, one, the, the one pepper dip, dip challenge. <laughs> All proceeds go to uh, me. Uh, I, like, I, I need money too, bro. Um, hey. We just did. Uh, yeah, so this weekend, I don't know. I don't think I did uh, Jack. I don't, um, we didn't do much. We were in Bucks County. Uh, we did a little Bucks County as always. Um. Sunday was basically just watching some football. Uh, today, actually, we just got back from um, pricing out flooring and couches and such for the home because homeowner, you know, that's a thing people do now. Uh, this is this is that's your next your next value, and mm-hmm. uh, it's fun. It's a uh, it's different. Like you said, you know how you said like it makes you kind of feel grown up. Mm-hmm. It does when like I'm not going out shopping for Jordans. Um, I'm I'm going out shopping for like. Does this couch match my floor? It's very weird. But next time you come over, you're going to see like a whole different house. It's, it's weird. It's like completely oh. different than it used to look. Um, if anybody needs a couch or a dining room set, call us. We need to get rid of it. <laughs> we, have, we have couches and shit on the way, so we need to get rid of this stuff ASAP. Um, but no, otherwise, I don't think we did really jack this, this weekend. It was kind of like a, you know it's about to be like, the holidays yeah. coming up, where it's going to be that endless rushing back and forth and all so over the universe. It's, it, so it's, it's like that calm before the storm weekend where you're like, I'm just going to just hang because we know we're about to get tossed around from family to family, place to place, store to store mm-hmm. until about January the 5th or some shit. Like today we did, uh, we were both off, so we went to Hobby Lobby uh, this afternoon in KOP. To get some um, Christmas decorations. Gotcha. You're 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 a you're a dead man when that comes around. You got just just stay away. Okay, Hobby Lobby's not as bad. I believe that Home Goods was created to haunt me. Like the store itself is very nice, but mm-hmm. the people who shop there are goddamn idiots. I've never seen a stupider humans in my life. They're 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 females, but um, like the aisles are too thin. I actually got like rear-ended by a woman today. In Home Goods, she took me, she hit me right in the back. I need a backyonomy. 
she she got me with a cart. She said, I was like, God, I'm like the hell. It's because I'm near the Ray Dunn blanket you want, bitch. Get out of here. Oh, uh, you got Ray Dunn. Oh yeah. I got I got I got rear done. It was right Redund. right in the back. <laughs> um but yeah, man. Just just watch out for those places. They're fucking dangerous. Um but no man, I didn't do anything else this weekend. Um so let's 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 throw that segment away. Let's throw it out. Hold, 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 hold the hold, please. Bang. Throw it away. Boom. There you go. See that? That's tech. That's high tech stuff I did there. <laughs> Let's see. I have I have some stuff. I wrote some stuff. Oh, oh, it's got notes. I got this. I should write rewrite the segment as notes. notes. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Just another question. Just a okay. question. A food question. Ooh. Are you a waffler? Are you a waffle man? Yes. Do you like a good egg or waffle? You know, like, uh, are you a homemade waffler or are you a Eggo waffler? I, I like a Belgian homemade waffle. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Put pink, I'll put my pinky up for this one. Because uh, <laughs> you fancy. Do you feel, what is the crunch level of your waffle? Ooh, Do you okay. want crunch all the way through or crunch around the rim and softer on the inside? Um. I would have to go crunch around the rim, soft and inside. But I like it soggy, bro. I'm a good soggy or Ew. Ew, yeah. what? No. It shouldn't what? be like a potato chip. It should be like a no, little no, no, crunch no. But like, and then but like, like if you picked it up, does it go like, eh? Yeah. Or is it like, hey, what's going on, friend? Well, no, it's going to be soaked. Come on. I put like a mounds and mounds of syrup on it. And it's like, eh. So and it's like, like a <laughs> jump shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 100%. Um, yeah. Soggy see, waffle. That's... Well, see, I'm I'm an ego waffler, so like, Ugh. so like, fuck, fuck you, um, <laughs> basic. <laughs> I don't know what anything about me would be basic right now. <laughs> yeah, well, so not basic right now. You know, all this free advertising from Starbucks right now, bro. We should yeah, be like, on. dude, what the fuck are you doing? The dog's in here, and she's just standing uh... on tables. She's in upkeeps. Um, so I'm no, no that's a goddamn silica packet, you nutcase. The dog's trying to eat that poison packet that comes in pepperoni. She's, mm. she's trying to end. She's trying to end it live on air. <laughs> <laughs> See, so I was making a, I was making waffles the other night. Mm-hmm. I was putting them in the old toaster, and I like them to have some crunch. I don't want them to obviously. I don't want a potato chip, but I don't right. mind crunch because I'm a, a I butter every nook and cranny. Okay, 100%. every square hole better mm-hmm. be buttered. Like there should be no puddle left behind, mm-hmm. right? Okay, so I feel like the butter should give a crunchy waffle enough moisture to like make it a little salty. I don't want it to be a jump shot, but I don't want it to be like a chip, right? And like the girlfriend is saying that that is too crunchy to have a waffle. You shouldn't hear a crunch when you bite into it. I I I agree with that. I mean, it should be it should be kind of like. Soft and pillowy, you know what I mean? Like soft and pillowy and buttery <laughs> and butter, tons of butter. I love butter. I don't put any syrup on. I just put butter on. It. You sick son of butter? What? What? No, you just butter. You don't need to syrup that thing. What the? You can. You can viol- butter it. That's violation. You, hey, hey, to each their own. As I say. So do you do you eat pancakes? Yeah, now that's that's syrup. Yeah, you butter syrup there. So you can you can syrup a pancake, but you can't syrup a waffle. I mean, I can syrup a waffle. I choose not to. Choose not to. I have syrup waffles. It's just okay. not a necessity because I feel like a waffle holds its butter better. Where a I pancake, get you. it doesn't like. I know I can get melted butter in all forty six squares, mm-hmm. but in a, on a pancake, it just slides all over the universe. And like you can get some real dry patches in a goddamn pancake, so you need like buttloads of syrup and butter, because it, it some, at some point it just tastes like you're eating a couch if you don't. It's just it's just soft cushions everywhere. You're like ah, is this Tempur Pedic? It's a Tempur pancake, you know. I don't want a Tempur pancake. <laughs> so no pancakes, yes. Waffles, I don't think you have to. No, necessary. Like these were chocolate chip waffles, so I feel like there's already also uh, okay. around there. See now you're you now you're it. adding in the elements that we didn't before. Yeah, like now a regular it's... buttermilk waffle. No, I feel like that would probably be a little bit of syrup on top, really fluff that thing up. Okay, no. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad I got this. This see, these are the things I write down because yeah. uh, obviously this is weirdly where my brain goes daily. Okay. Um, next up, Shakira. She has an issue. Okay. Okay. Um, so Shakira, uh, a few weeks ago, was I guess at a forest or somewhere where there are wild boars with her child. The wild boars uh, were criminals, and they stole her purse. And just started taking off into the woods with said purse. Shakira is, quote, angry that people were just watching and not doing anything about her purse. What would you do in the case of a, uh, a purse that was stolen? Are you going to fight a wild boar for someone else's purse? Or are you going to let that thing go? Uh, and so does, does she have the right to be angry because, God forbid, someone would not punch a boar in the face to get her purse back? <laughs> You'll get another Gucci bag, but it's a boar. Them things are huge, right? They're, they're like big ass pigs. It's like those big ass horns, bro. They kill a yeah, lot of like people. Yeah, that's I, I guess that's what they hooked her purse with, like shout, shout. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like quick, like hook them, and then Timon and Pumbaa, like they took off. <laughs> And you know, it's like, ah, oh, Kuna Matata. That's why I would have said. I was like, ah, oh, Kuna right. Matata, let's get out of here. I'm like, I can't do this. Um, the only joke I wrote about that was, oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make a boar go mad. That was, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> I wrote some jokes also. Um, what are you doing? Um, yeah, but like, what would you, I guess, I guess I would go with like, what would you do? Say you're in a zoo and like some kind of animal just like snags your girl purse or something like that. Like, so, like, you and Katie are just doing your thing and, like, one of the peacock joints, like, are allowed to walk around the zoo. Yeah. Just, like, snag your wallet right out of her hand. Like, shoo, shoo. you chasing down that wallet or are you just, like, letting bygones be bygones? Like, well, no, I'm yeah, taking a peacock down, bro. Me and the peacock oh, are having, we're having some words. Okay, so because <laughs> – so because, but they're fast. Like, shoo, shoo, shoo. you think you can outmatch – you can outspeed them. I heard they're fast as cheetah. They are pretty fast, but – Okay, if it, if it, if that you take the purse and that's there's my beer money in that purse, bro, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be some speed. you're gonna hit some good speeds. I'm gonna get some beer speed in me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like the high hands. <laughs> oh, this thing. <laughs> now, do you run fists or do you run hands open? You gotta have like. Is it like this or is it like you like you carry like... butter? And when I chop it or punch it, you're going to be like, that guy definitely did Taibo. Like, they're, they're, you're going to be like Billy Blanks, you know, like, please leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I always wonder, like, some people, they, they, this is the run, mm-hmm. like, hands open, fingers, like, fingers out. You're just cutting. Or do you run, chop, like, you're just chopping like, the wind, bro. Or you're like a claw. Like, <laughs> Are you like chopping the air? Or are you like, nah, bird wings? Ca ca. It's I like, I remember back in the day, people like sat, they, this way they run. They used to run with the fists. And they're like, yeah, yeah, like this, right. And then, like, as you got older, it was like, oh, There's shit. Like, yeah, like the this, flash runs like this. This feels right. more, I don't know, run. it feels like it's more aerodynamic when you're just kind of like. But I feel like if you ever watch anybody run at the gym, mm-hmm. they don't run with hands open. They yeah. like hands in the front. Bro, they run like this or just like. It's, yeah, it's, just, it's, just, phone. it's just phone out. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is. You can't not have your phone out the gym anymore. No. I've uh, I've started going back to the gym. I started going back in the morning. I'm in okay. AM. Okay. I'm there by 7 30 in the morning. Oof. It's it is rough. It's Oof. like it's it's hard to like know that 30 minutes before that you were in bed. And yeah. then after that they're like, no, now I'm like aggressively running for no reason. And so I've uh, I, I like to choose shows to watch while I'm on, like, especially with the elliptical. To, so you can kind of ignore the fact that you're on an elliptical mm-hmm. because otherwise you're just like, oh God, this is going to last forever. But I just, all I have is like a half hour. I just want to do one just so I can get home, get to work. I've chosen Seinfeld to start from season one on. Have you, are you a Seinfeld man? I'm watching it right now. It's a great show. Yeah. Great show. And I figured like, I never really, I don't think I've ever watched it like through. Like, you see it on TV and you'll binge it. But right. I don't think I ever like went on Netflix, clicked episode one and just said like, take me through the whole Seinfeld journey. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's like, it's, it's one of them shows that doesn't get old. I think no, it's better right now because we're adults. 
it is better. You get you get like the all the innuendos and all the mm-hmm. jokes now. There's a lot more jokes where back then you're like, wow, this is a show about nothing. Like it's, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Now you're like, like it's, oh, it's that's very good. it's very sexual. Like it's it, it much more than I thought. Like back yeah. in the day you would think like, oh, it's that corny show my dad watches. Now you're like, oh, this is this is adult as shit. They just really were good at hiding it. So like people mm-hmm. all loved it. But yeah. Like I think it was just I was just watching the episode where um Jerry picks up a girl from the airport and thinks like they're going to hook up, and mm-hmm. then finds out she's engaged. Oh, mm-hmm. he's furious. He's furious. He's like, "You're engaged." And she's like, "Yeah, he's a good guy." And he's just thinking, "How do I get this woman out of my house?" <laughs> I told her she can say too nice, and now she doesn't. Even... Mm-hmm. Like, that's it's high quality television. Um, that's great. But yeah, so I started going back to the gym. I think it's 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 nicer back in there again. Um, it's just weird in the morning. It's a lot of old folks. It's just old folks. Yeah, it's it's the old crowd. Yeah, because what else are they going to do? I guess that's when they're up the most, you know? Like, you don't see, like, the weights aren't moving. The, the big boy weights mm-hmm. ain't really moving in the AM. No one's really <laughs> going that hard. It's just me and a bunch of a bunch of treadmills just moving. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm not too fond of the morning. I hate it. Because you kind of – I was expecting it to wake me up more. Mm-hmm. Like, when you get up in the morning – because I know, like, if I do it in the afternoon, or if I especially if I would go at night, like – if I do eight, nine o'clock, I'd be up for like five hours after that because I feel amped. Yeah. I do it in the morning and I go sit down at work after and I'm like, good God, I just want to go to sleep. So I don't, I got to find my happy medium still, but I like being back at the gym. Um, what I don't like, Segway style, I hate this weather. I like today. Today I can deal with. The fact it's getting cold again can mm. go to hell and die. It's, oh no, no! You're loving this. Ashley's loving this. Not me. Not me. I'm wearing a hoodie. I just put a hoodie on, assuming it'd be cold today, and I sweat my ass off all day because I don't get up to like almost seventy. But I hate this. I hate the. You got to prepare every time you walk out to the damn door now. Why do you like this so much? It is so annoying. It's the worst. Of all it, time. Smells, it just smells like fall. It, smells it like, does you know. smell brisk in the air, like you smell it. Oh, that That's I do smell. like. Mm-hmm. But I can make it a candle. Make a candle and make it to 85 degrees outside. Okay? <laughs> That's yeah. perfectly fine with me. Okay? We can have pumpkin pie. Just let it be 85 while I'm eating. Actually, I don't think you can, though. Like, pumpkin pie in hot weather just doesn't sound like it, like... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a food that you can eat. Like, certain foods are, like, very seasonal. So if you want to, like... I think pumpkin pie is a good one. Um, mm-hmm. What else would be a good, like... Food to not eat in, in hot weather. Um, eggnog. Oh, bro. It's you can't big. eggnog it down in July. Oh, it's not going to work. No, it's <laughs> it's not going to quench anything. It's just you're, you're going to throw up. Yeah. 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 Like, like there, it's weird how you would say, like, oh, it's a seasonal food. But, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I would not be eating that shit in the middle of the Mm-mm. middle of summer. I'm not like, oof, I could use some pumpkin pie right now with some whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, Satan back there. Um, I was thinking, there was one the other day too. I said, I can't remember what the fuck it is now. I think I, I remember some the other day going, Oh, I wouldn't be able, oh, it smells just in general, like a smell, mm-hmm. like a like a cinnamon scent, you know, like a that, that kind of that cinnamon pine coney scent that's like perfect for the fall, right? If you had me smell that shit and it's 98 degrees outside, I'd probably throw it right in your face, like for it being a smell, it's very weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna start challenging all these weird normal shits that we do in life. Um, yeah, make it make have... Yeah, like like it's just so obvious, but like you don't do it otherwise. Do I have anything else here? Oh, did you see last night the? Um, this will go under a category of sports. Um, of uh, the the, what team is uh, Drummond or not Drummond? What team is the Marquis brother on uh, the Heat? Did you see the mm. uh, the scuffle with him and Jokic? No, him I didn't. Jokic, yeah. So they're battling hardcore. Um, like they're going, they're going at it. Uh, so apparently, uh, the Joker has two very scary brothers. This is this is why I found out overnight. Uh, apparently, like they are, they're like nuts. One's like a ju- jujitsu artist, and they're all seven foot. Um, and so he, so so. Ashley says that soup is much better. Yes, soup. That's is a the good one. one. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Soup in the summer is your 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 no. gross gentleman, your gross gentleman, man or woman. 
Genesis, or your gross non-binary. Um, but so bar- apparently, so Markeith, uh decided to foul Jokic real hard towards the end of the game. Like he hit check the shit out. But you know, so Jokic uh, got man right away. Uh, he ran up and he like hit him with like this, just dead in his back, just ran right at him. Um, Marky fell down like a little biatch, and he like stayed down. He sold he sold it like no other. Uh, it was just, it was it was an embarrassment to Philadelphia how how long he stayed in the ground. Um, but uh, Jimmy Butler, uh, who was like this close from Jokic, didn't say a thing. And then once they both like you know back to your benches, Jimmy was telling him to meet him in the locker room or meet him in the back, whatever. And he was doing the claps. He's like, meet me in the back. And um, Joe Kick was just sitting there like he gave no fucks. <laughs> like there was nothing in the world he cared about less. He was like, I'm not going to beat this little guy up. Come on, man. Like, like he didn't care that Butler was there. Um, so then afterwards, Twitter was the wild scene where the, uh, the Jokic brothers, the other ones, said uh, to, to tell Markeith and his brother, let's leave it at that so no one gets hurt. And then... Um, and then the Morris brother said, oh, you got the right ones. And and then the Jokic brothers came back and said, no, you don't. And then um, one of the Morris brothers said that their mama told him to stop posting on social media. So he's going to stop. But uh, apparently, like, there's sev- they're all seven foot. So there's three Jokics and there's two Morrises. And they said they'd throw in a Udonis Haslam for a six-man match at WrestleMania. You know, like, Whoa. but like, that's a, like, they said like something like, uh, they used to like throw knives at, at Nikola, Nikola Jokic as a kid. Like that was a fun ha 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 thing they did as kids. Like they throw knives at each other. So people said like, no, no, you don't understand. These aren't like two white dudes from Jersey. Like these, are, <laughs> <laughs> like, these dudes are terrifying and you should not under any circumstances try to attack them. Tell Jimmy Butler to go back in his van Put his cowboy boots on and hit it to the next town, brother, because you're going to get <laughs> yikes. But uh, it was like a little weird bit of fun. I didn't even know that he had brothers, let alone that they're like assassins. So they're like true. They said there's actually a um, a Jokic, not like related, but they were looking up the last name and there's one named Drago. So like, oh, you know, Lord. if you have a Drago in your family, like he doesn't, if he dies, he dies. Like it's... Mm-hmm. Just learn from Rocky, guys. We've seen it a hundred times. You don't want it, okay? He ended Apollo, so. But uh, yeah, if you have a chance, just just Google it real quick and look yeah, at I'm it. When, when have to Google have... it. And it's it's a it's a fun yeah. little exchange, man. Like Bleacher Report's ready. Like everybody's like, oh, this is great. Can't wait for this to be on the next Jake Paul fight. Oh when yeah. Jokic lights up Markeith. Um, but I don't think I have anything else in this episode. Do you have anything for me? Young man. No, but I think we gave them a lot. I mean, I think we a lot to think about. You know, they can think about okay, what what are the uh, summer versus fall winter foods? Um, mm-hmm. will this fight be on WrestleMania or pay per view? Because oh, that would be great. PPV. Yeah. PPV. Um, definitely the whole waffle thing. How do you how do you waffle? How do you waffle? Yeah. Are you a waffle? That's going to be the name of this episode. At least. I like how it. How do you waffle? How do you waffle your waffles? Hmm. You know, like, are you just a butter man? Are you a syrup man? Do you want the crunchy? Do you want mm. the outside? You know, how do you oh, like actually that? I do have one more food item then before Hit me we with it. Get let's go. Here. Okay, Hit me with it. So, on the TikToks, okay, okay. this is the kids app, they love this. It's called the, mm-hmm. it's called the TikTok. Um, you do dances. Um, so on there, there was a woman making a uh, she was making mac and cheese, okay. And uh, so she decided, she said, I'm going to make this southern version of mac and cheese that she had. So first it looked good because it was a uh, a whole slab of Velveeta. You know, the big oh, boy, hell yeah. right? Plop that joint in the middle. You put your noodles around it, some water. You pop that in the oven. Let it let the initial melt. You pull it back out. And this is where she threw me off, but maybe you might like it. I don't know. To each their own. She placed raisins in it. And then added more cheese and then added breadcrumbs on the top to give it that little crisp. What, what, what part threw you off? The raisins. Yes. 
do you think that would actually have any like oh delicious flavor to it raisins in your mac and cheese i feel like there's so much cheese you're not going to even taste the raisins though yeah, if you're like, if you're throwing a whole block of Velveeta, what what's the point of the and then raisins? they add cheese after that, like it's just like juicy and shit though. It looks is really it like good. it's like a holiday casserole. Is it like a holiday mac and cheese? Like you're I guess like, it's like you put a little raisin on it. Like what, what the hell is that about? It's gross, right? I would eat it if they didn't put the raisin in. That's if not you take you... that raisin out, like I like. Have you ever done it with the breadcrumbs on top? You put it back in and it crunches up the top a little bit. Yeah, you get like that Stouffer's. They had the um the bread crumb on the mac yeah. and cheese. That yeah. slaps. But well, I just raisins don't think that's don't how you make dessert it. my dinner meal. Yeah. Don't don't try to healthy it up suddenly. We gotta toss broccoli. Actually, broccoli broccoli and cheese is good. So maybe broccoli mac and cheese wouldn't be bad, right? Is that a no. thing? Broccoli mac and cheese. That's that's a thing. That's a thing. Hey, broccoli and cheese. Oh yeah. Fuck! I thought I just created something. Thanks. Bro. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly mistaken that one. You're like, I got a good idea. And you're like, like, oh, oh no. mine. Raisins on it. <laughs> that is your raisins and broccoli and cheese. Oh, yeah. I put grapes in mine. Take that. Hey. Nasty. But yeah, I wanted to run that one by you, obviously, before the episode ended, because I thought that was strange. Like I was I was in until I saw them dropping. I was like, bloop, bloop, bloop. what is this? What is that? Is that black beans? She just put black beans in that. I don't like black beans. I don't like any beans. Don't be putting beans in my shits. I feel like that kind of mac and cheese with that much cheese, it's already gonna cause an issue in the in the toilet. Yeah, you're gonna you're, you're you had some cool. black beans, you're just like, Well, <laughs> good night. See you tomorrow. I'm just gonna I'm about to post up for eight to nine hours. It's too much. But uh if I make that mac and cheese without it, I will let you know and I will bring some to you. And, and see if you enjoy my Velveeta casserole. Yeah, it it seems like it's not, not not how you make it traditionally, but maybe she True. found out a way. Like she hacked it. It's just cheese on noodles. It's just cheese and noodles. <laughs> cheese and noodles and uh, it's not how you raise the cheese. But uh, no. maybe she's on. Maybe like her kid know. like tossed it in by accident. She's like, I maybe. guess I'll keep them. And yeah. she's like, oh, these are good. Or maybe her husband's a fucking freak show. Mm. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Screw you, sir, for ruining mac and cheese for everybody. Now you know how many women this Christmas are going to be fucking putting raisins in there. Just, just guys, for your holidays, please inspect your mac and cheese before eating it. Okay, when it's once it goes on TikTok, everybody starts doing it or buying it. Mm-hmm. So be aware there could be raisins in your mac and cheese this holiday season. That's my public service announcement. Check your cheese. <laughs> Check your cheese. Hide your cheese, hide your wife, hide your kids. Hide your There's raisins up in everything. We'd be like, hold on a second. Fucking raisins there. There's a fucking raisin in are my these, mac and cheese. Are these beans? <laughs> are these chocolate chips? Chocolate chips. No. No. Pick it. Chocolate chips or raisins. What do you got to go? Chocolate chips or raisins. See, I like chocolate, so I'll be okay. I don't like raisins at all. So we go chocolate cheese. Raisins, like stick to your teeth and shit. <laughs> you'll, be like, ah, you'll be like yanking them things out for days. No, I'll just mm-hmm. go with chocolate. Okay. Somehow chocolate will be good. I don't know. Fair enough. You can put chocolate over anything and it tastes good, right? So, you really can. Yeah. Right? Like that. Like, oh, bacon, put chocolate on it. Mm-hmm. Delicious, right? And it slaps. Slaps. So I'm, slaps. I will trust chocolate every day of the week. You put that shit on anything, and I feel like we're better off. Than we are if you decide to put raisins on my shit. Fair enough. Like raisins are just dried out grapes. No one likes that. That's all it's it is. A, just a raisin and a grape in the sun. Oh, <laughs> goddamn. Good book. Never read it. Never read it. <laughs> no, no, fuck that. I think I'm going to go reading. <laughs> Reading's for losers. <laughs> all right, young man. If you ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing. Let's wrap this Sucker up and go make some waffles. All right, man. So wrap we shall. This was episode one thirty three of Ten Minute and Mike. Uh, I am Big Ron alongside the best producer in all of the land and my co-host White Peppa, aka No Syrup on the Waffles. We don't do that around here. He's a Remember, no if you want to listen to us, watch us. You got to like. You got to follow. All, you got to subscribe. All, all the this bottom, stuff bro. that's down below: Spotify, uh, YouTube, uh, Apple Podcasts is down by Ron, and then. Um, yeah, if it's Apple Podcast, leave us a five star review. Five. That's five, like the dollar foot longs. 
Um, do they still do that five dollar foot loan? Well, it's not five dollars anymore. It's like thirteen dollars. It's now. like thirteen dollar foot loans, but that's only what makes sense at all. No, it's insane. Yeah, like thirteen dollar foot loan. Well, now they got to pay like Steph Curry, Tom mm-hmm. Brady, the Williams sisters. Like it's too much now. Uh, mm-hmm. That lady, Megan, Megan Rapone. Like they they got to pay too oh, many yeah. people. So five dollar foot loans out the damn door. Um, and uh, yeah, if you so if you're gonna watch us on YouTube, subscribe to us, like us. Put the hit the little notification bell. This way, when when I when when me and him go live, the thing will pop up on your phone. Hey, two greatest, most funny human beings live are live. Go watch, go listen, and thumbs up. Thumbs up. And then Spotify, just listen because uh, we have a commercial on there, and uh, that gets us pennies. So we like pennies. Pennies become dollars. Uh, I like it. That's all I got, young man. Um, yeah, guys. So until next time, uh, we are your podcast favorite podcast. Yes. So join us next week, either Monday or Tuesday. We'll let you know. We'll figure yeah, it out. It's always the beginning of the week. Just know that one of these two days we'll get you. Yep. And uh, yeah, man. Until then, um, let's get the hell out of here, bro. Uh, yeah. Peace. Later.